Hey guys, um, so I've been sitting here on my bathroom floor for a while trying to not record this because I don't like to interfere with people's lives, you know, and I feel like this is kind of a weird thing, but this message has been dogging me all day. So to be very clear right off the bat here, this is for somebody like very specific. This is some kind of random psychic message I, that happened, something similar happened to me a while ago. Um, so this is for you. This is for you, maybe a small group of people. If you have specifically been asking for guidance on some kind of unrequited love situation where you've been wondering, should you tell them? Should you tell them how you feel? And so this is, you know, this is the universe answering you on that. And I've been trying not to record this because I was hoping to just drop out of this vibe that's been dogging me all day. It, it's been very strange. So someone in my field is working through this and has been asking for this message, essentially. And the fact that I'm sitting here on the bathroom floor and the fact that I've been trying not to say this, that's basically how you're feeling. That's how you're feeling. And I kept trying not to say this because I was hoping I could just drop out of it. I was hoping the feeling would just go away. And I'm pretty good at shifting out of energy, like shifting other people's energy out. I'm pretty good at releasing other people's energy from my vortex. You know, I wouldn't be able to do so many tarot readings if I couldn't release people's energy, right? But this one won't go away, uh, which tells me that it needs to be, this is how I need to release it, right? This is how I need to release the message. And the fact that I'm stalling and talking in circles, that's another reflection of how you're feeling. So. That's how you know this is for you, right? If you feel like you're sitting on the bathroom floor, if you've been feeling like you've been trying to swallow um, this expression of your feelings for a long time, and if you feel like you could, you could just keep stalling a little bit longer, that would probably be preferable, right? So that's how you know this is for you. And if you've been asking specifically for like guidance from the universe on this, from your spirit guides. So, okay, I'll try to get to the point. Um, someone could be, this could be real one person, or this could be a small handful of people. Um, someone is in some kind of unrequited love situation where they have, you know, you are feeling, if this is for you, this is you, right? So you are feeling feelings for someone, right? You have the feelings for someone, you have the feelings for someone and you aren't telling them and you're not, you don't think you're going to tell them. Um, specifically because either you, you know that they could never feel the same way about you, right? You know that it can't be reciprocated, um, and, or that you know that you could never, like, it's like impossible for one reason or the other for you to be together, right? For, for whatever, whatever reason. It's like, there's some kind of impossibility here, some kind of incompatibility there's something about the situation that you think well there's no point in confessing right there's no point in confessing if it because you know you know that you can't be together right you know you can't be together so what's the point in confessing you should just eat it right eat it push it down hope it goes away um so the problem with that is that it's just it's not going to go away that way it's just not going to the feeling is not going to go away you're not going to be able to get past this feeling by trying to repress it you can only move on with your life um, by moving through this feeling and releasing the feeling. And very specifically, um, this experience, like part of the soul lesson with this experience is for you to learn about non-attached love. And this is actually part of a high heart chakra activation, your high heart, right? Your high heart is up here. And part of the high heart, when, when you experience love through the high heart, it's non-attached love. The feeling of being able to simply love without any need to have, right? Learning that loving someone is not having them, is not possessing them, is not even talking to them or being around them. It's to simply love in a non-attached way. So this is an important 
really this is a big deal initiation that I mean <laughs> I, I've been through in my life in in my past and that everyone I think goes through at some point and it, it's really a spiritual initiation I think if you look at it that way it'll be helpful for you and to understand that really this is all of this this whole situation is happening so that you can activate your high heart and so that you can experience non-attachment and non-attached love and there's a couple different ways you could go about moving through this. The first one is really actually telling the person, telling the person, telling the person how you feel, right? No matter how horrifying <laughs> uh, of an experience that may seem, you will feel better afterwards. And the point in telling them isn't, it, don't do it because you hope that you can be with them or don't do it because you want them to reciprocate you have to do it for yourself just to get this energy off of your chest because I can feel it weighing you down, right? I haven't even moved my arms since I've been sitting here. And if you if you watch me talk, you know I'm a big hand talker, right? So this energy is weighing you down. It's been weighing me down all day and I can feel, uh, <laughs> right? So you'll feel better after you release it, right? After you tell them. If you really can't, do that for whatever reason if you really can't communicate this to them in any way and you know if you can't tell them in person you can tell them in writing or something right um, if that is really and truly off the table for you the thing is it probably isn't right it probably isn't but the universe is of course willing to work with you on this and if you're convinced that it is off the table for you or you're just going to decide that it is off the table for you, then you can still work through this independently. Um, it, it will be a matter of really, really owning the feeling, right? Instead of trying to push it down, instead of trying to just hope it'll go away, instead of keeping it locked up like some dirty little secret, really own it, like own it, okay? If there's some people, if, some, if you can tell somebody about this, share it with someone, right? That will help you own it. If it's writing it down, like in your diary, that'll help. Um, if it's fully, fully like owning your situation, right? Like really just getting really clear on how you feel, why you feel that way. And then really realistic about what your, your actual situation is. It's like, you need to spend some time really looking at it, right? Looking at the dark and ugly look like, and see, this, this is the thing, right? When you have feelings of love, they shouldn't ever feel dark and ugly. They should never feel dark and ugly, no matter what the situation is, right? No matter what your situation is, the, like love shouldn't feel dark and ugly. It should be light and beautiful, right? So that's how this should be able to feel. You, you know, you'll know that you're, that you're on the right track when you can work this around inside of yourself to the point where the love doesn't feel dark and ugly to the point where the love instead feels light and beautiful and it lifts you up, right? Because you can have even if the love is unrequited and even if you can never be with this person, your love for them can still lift you up. It can still make you feel better. It can still make you feel like your life is surrounded in love. And that's when it's fully, like when your high heart is activated fully and you're really like allowing it to flow, right? This has to be, yeah, it's, this has to get flowing. And so it'll be harder to do it that way, right? If you if you really decide you won't confess <laughs> to this person, it'll, you can still work around this and you can still work through this independently, but it will be like a little trickier that way because you really have to do like deep inner work. You really have to work through this on an energetic level um, to get to the same kind of place of feeling like you own it and feeling like you're free and feeling like you can just coexist with this feeling and that it can be a good feeling, right? That it can be a good feeling. Um, that you can experience this love with non-attachment. And that you can that you can get on with your life that way. And then you will find as time goes on and as you have, you know, further evolution in your life that things will shift for you and that you won't be stuck in this dark, ugly love <laughs> feeling forever. And I feel better. <laughs> I feel better having had recorded this. I feel like I can get up off my bathroom floor now. And so since I can feel this energy lifting up off of me and releasing from me, 
then I know that you will also be feeling the same thing because I have now experienced this pattern. I've experienced it in microcosm, right? <sighs> so again, I don't, I know this is kind of like, this feels like interfering <laughs> with some, with someone's life and that's never what I want to be doing, but there, the only thing I could do to free myself of this vibe today was to sit in here and like stew on this and ultimately upload this, I guess. So I hope this found whoever it was intended for, and I hope you guys get to feeling much, much brighter and lighter very soon. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.